Welcome back to chapter 16. We're going to talk about the gradient tool and other ways to apply gradients. So go ahead and select this middle picture, edit with Photoshop Elements Editor, and let's go ahead and delete these two top layers here. So yes, and then yes. So we're left with this BG white and go ahead and turn the visibility off those two layers. We're going to go ahead and select the gradient tool, which is here. This um, opens up some gradient options on top. Here you can choose which gradient you want. You also have the option to click the flyout menu and choose more dif uh, different gradients. So the default, noise samples, pastels. So let me go back to default. Okay. You can um, edit the gradient. We'll talk about that in a second. You can choose which way you want your gradient linear, radial, angle, reflected, or diamond. You can choose uh, a mode and the opacity. I usually leave that to the layers. Um, you can reverse the gradient, so if you draw it out, it'll, it'll do it in reverse. Um, you can apply dithering, which helps in banding. And you can um, draw with the gradient mask there. Okay, so let's uh, do it. So all you do is just click and draw, or click and drag. Wherever you stop is where it stops. So it starts with the blue. It goes to transparent, which is my background white. It's that simple. You can do very short ones, and if you do a short gradient, you can see it's con the gradient is concentrated there. Okay. Now, using the gradient tool, it will draw on top of each one. Okay. I want you to know that. So if I go here, you'll see it there. Okay. Now that's one way of using the gradient tool, and that's nice. So let me just do undo. Okay. We can also choose a different gradient if we wanted to. So let's 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 choose this uh, foreground of transparent. We can click the edit button. When we click the edit button, this is going to open up this little panel down here, which is really nice. And here we can uh, play with the color. So if we click on this, we can choose a different color if we wanted to. So let's say I wanted a yellow or that bright yellow. I like that bright yellow. And then we click OK. I can choose instead of transparent, um, well, I can click on a different color here, but this right here is what um, controls the transparency there. This is the opacity stop, so if I click on the opacity stop, you can see that it's zero, which means that it's fully transparent, and if I click over here, it's 100%, which means you're going to see it. You can choose solid, or you can choose noise, which is nice. You can randomize it if you wanted to. You can choose the roughness. Okay, and you can mess with the different types of color modes there. Let me go back to solid. Okay, once you're happy with your gradient, you can add other stops here and then change the color. So if you wanted to make it, uh, I don't know, let's say green, you can do that. You can then move this and change the gradation between it. You can change the midpoint to make it more here or, more or less there. So there are many options you can do with the gradient editor. It is crazy. Now, let's say that you spend all this time. If you want to get rid of a stop, you just drag it down, just by the way, so you know. Now, what you can do is you can save your gradient. And this will save it in the correct spot for you with the extension of GRD. So we're going to click Cancel. So if you spend all the time making a gradient, you probably want to save it. And you can define a new gradient, which will add it to the end here. Okay, then you can click more, and this also gives you those other options. So let's click OK. And now I'm going to, this time we're going to use the diamond and see what it does. See, creates a nice little diamond. And remember, by using the gradient tool, I can add more gradients on top of each other. Okay, so let me click undo. And in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about the other two ways of adding the gradient.